Understanding the multiplication principle. Suppose Vero, Mike, and Lupe are going to be assigned a lane in a swimming pool. In how many ways can the assignments be done? So the long way is to draw a tree diagram and notice how it's put together. When you're going to assign lane one, there are three people available. Lane one would be like the first step of the procedure of assigning the lanes. So in step one, you have to assign lane one and you have three people available. Lane two, you only have two people available since one of them has already been assigned to lane one. So for step two, assigning lane two, you have only two people available. And for lane three, by then you've assigned lane one and lane two to two people. You only have one person available. And this is the tree diagram of all possibilities you could have assigned lane one to Vero, lane two to Mike, lane three to Lupe, or you could have assigned lane one to Vero, lane two to Lupe, and lane three to Mike, or you could have assigned lane one to Mike, lane two to Vero, and lane three to Lupe, and so forth. If you count each one of these routes, it tells you how the assignment could have taken place. There are six different ways you could assign the three lanes to the three people. That was the long way. The short way, you recognize that you could use the multiplication principle. And the way you recognize it is that you see that the procedure, it's a procedure that has steps. First step, assign lane one. Second step, assign lane two. Third step, assign lane three. So then you ask yourself, for lane one, how many people are available? Three. For lane two, how many people are available? Two. For lane three, how many people are available? One. Multiply it and you get the same answer as the diagram, but this is much quicker. How many license plates can be made if the license plates have three letters followed by two digits? Notice it didn't say that the letters couldn't be repeated. So we're going to use the multiplication principle. Notice it's the procedure that will give us a license plate. And the procedure requires steps. How many letters are available for step one? How many letters are available for letter one? 26. There's 26 letters in the English alphabet. How many letters are available for letter two? 26. They're still all available since they didn't say we couldn't repeat them. How many letters are available for the third letter, which will be the third step, 26. How many digits are available for the first digit? 10. How many digits are available for the second digit? 10. Multiply it, and this is the amount of license plates you could come up with that fit that description. <coughs> Suppose we work the problem, but this time we cannot repeat letters or digits. So this is the multiplication principle with no repetition. So you follow the same procedure, you go through your steps, but notice for the first letter, we have 26 available. But once you assign that one, it's not available for the other position. So now we only have 25 letters available. And once you make this assignment, there's only 24 letters available. For the first digit, at the beginning, we have all 10 available. But then we assign that one, and for the next position of the digit, we only have nine digits available. Multiply, and this is how many license plates you could come up with if no repetition is required. <clears throat>